Hey, what's going on everyone? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about a quote unquote easy method for inputting Isaiah dropping. Um, so I was just messing around with Isaiah dropping a few minutes ago and just different ways to input the Isaiah drop. Um, and I found one that I thought might be useful and wanted to share. So of course I'll go into first, what is Isaiah dropping? Um, for those of you familiar with it, you already know. Um, and of course, you know, why is it important? What are some ways you can misinput it? And what's a way to, you know, get around that, um, that misinput? And that's the thing that I want to share. So first off, what is Isaiah dropping? So you're on the stage with flats like Battlefield and you're on a platform. Say your opponent is below and you want to find a way to get off the platform, get down, um, maybe with, well, with whatever option you want. It could just be a, um, an empty uh, drop down. It could be some type of falling aerial, um, maybe go into a grab, whatever. So um, for example, you know, just fall back, fastball aerial, so like fastball back airs, um, etc. So what's the issue? Um, with this, well, it's very predictable. You might want to mix it up, or you might want different positions um, from which to punish. So you predict somebody going, so somebody doesn't go here, they wait for you. Um, you maybe you want to hit someone who's like right here, right? And that's what the Isaiah drop is about um, being able to um, turn whatever position you want and drop down to the left, say drop down to the right. Um, so how the uh, do how you do the Isaiah drop raw is to just tilt in one direction and drop down, tilt in the other direction and drop down. Right. So what's the issue with this? So a possible issue, um, at least at least for me, um, maybe for some others as well, but definitely for me. Um, so if I'm in a match and there's match nerves, you know, tournament nerves. Um, I, you know, rather than that gentle tilt to the left or gentle tilt to the right, I am going to jerk that control stick. There, there's no way around it. I can't do min min to save my life, um, you know, tilts versus smashes. Um, so there's going to be some point where instead of getting that tilt, I will run off to the side, run off the side or just off towards the side, drop down. Um, and for a character like, say, Mario, who's got stubby limbs, that might make a difference. So if I so instead of um, punishing what's there, I'm over here. I miss space, and then all of a sudden I take some type of BP. I don't know. It could be a dash attack or anything. If I'm at a higher percentage, all of a sudden I am being edge guarded or I lose a stock. Okay. So um, yeah. So there's this potential to miss input. You go to the left, you drop down instead of like this very gentle. Um, alternatively spaced back air. So how do I do this Isaiah dropping input while still, um, you know, avoiding the issues that come with tournament nerves and jerking the control stick. So um, you may know that if you tilt up to the diagonal, up to the diagonal, so just those upper left and upper right notches on your GameCube controller, um, you get a walk. Okay. And you may have seen some people do this online, they just kind of rub between the two, right, um, in order to get that walking animation. So we can actually incorporate this into Isaiah dropping, and the way to do it is by doing a half circle. This assumes that you have tilt jump off, right? So like if I just jerk up, then I don't get a jump. Um, if you have tilt jump on, sorry, not sorry, <laughs> the video's not for you. Um, I probably should have put a disclaimer. Um, but, okay, so we do a half circle from the top to the bottom. Um, a half circle towards the left will give us the turn to the left. A half circle to the right gives us the turn to the right. And there you go, that's your Isaiah drop. So, um, do half circle left, and then half circle, whoops, half circle right. There we go, and there you go. There's, um, there's an Isaiah drop using a half circle. And if you can hear my uh, controller, uh, you can hear that my stick is jerking pretty hard. So it's jerking hard, but I still got that gentle turnaround rather than the um, rather than the run. So yeah, there we go. 
And you saw that I do a fastball aerial there. You can also do a regular aerial. And the way you determine whether it's a fastball or not is by just holding the um, control stick down while the aerial is coming out. Um, so basically, if you do an aerial uh, at the height of the jump while still holding the control stick down, you do the fastball. I mean, um, I'm guessing a lot of people watching this already know that at this point. Um, that's super old. But anyway, yeah. So in short, a quote unquote easy Isaiah drop um, to help avoid misinputs of the match is to do the half circle from the top to the bottom. So half circle left, half circle right. Um, it's a much laggier, it's a quote unquote laggier input um, with respect to, you know, just doing the tilt and down. Um, but you can just circumvent that lag just by buffering it. So if I like fall into a buffered aerial, then all of a sudden I have, um, or sorry, an, an aerial and then buffer the Isaiah drop input, um, the easy Isaiah drop input, then all of a sudden I get the full sequence, right? Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I uh, was just messing around with it, and I thought this might be helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's my first video on doing this tech stuff, so the audio and the um, um, and the video might be just a little bit off, and also the scripting. But you know, feel free to like, share, subscribe, um, comment, all that jazz, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys around. Um, all right. Take it easy.